Hey guys, it's Marisa, and in today's video, I have a huge Dollar Tree haul. So, let's get started. So, let's get started right away. So, the first things I got were these uh, canvas boards. These are five by seven, so I got two of each, and there's two in each pack. And then I got um, two eight by tens. I uh, love them. They're actually really good canvas boards. And then I got a bigger size. I don't know exactly what size that is, but I have plans for this. I'm going to tell you in a second because these go with my next item. So let's just move the canvas boards out of the way. I dumbed out for a second, sorry. I got a whole bunch of frames. So I got a five by seven. These are actually really nice. I'm surprised and they're not like horrible. So this fits a five by seven. And then I got two white ones, uh, which I can definitely embellish. I can embellish these frames. Of course, the five by sevens fit in those. So I have plans on making some art some witchy altar art i actually like this this is not going to fit the bigger one but um yeah it doesn't fit that in that one but i actually like the art that's inside so i may take those pieces of paper out um this is the 8 by 10 frame i may keep those and use like the little prints for something else but i really bought it for the frames um they're really not bad they're actually quite nice and just plain white i can embellish them so yeah, so that is the frames and the canvas boards. So basically, I'm going to be making, cause remember I told you in my other video, that I'm going to be doing some witchy unboxings uh, with some uh, witchcraft supplies and that I'm going to be doing an art project. So that is what these are for. I'm going to be making some, I'm thinking, altar art for in bulk, which is the time between the winter solstice and the spring equinox it's like the beginnings of spring so i'm just have all these great ideas um i really like this print and the the frame is really nice for a dollar or a dollar 25 because my dollar tree did go up the quarter already but that is my plan so i got a whole bunch of supplies for my witchy little projects which i'm really excited about all right so what are we gonna do next all right so i got this one sign for Valentine's Day. I have a lot of Valentine's Day decorations, but I thought this was really cute. I saw the saying, love you to the moon and back. Uh, my grandma used to tell me that, so I really saw that, and I liked that, so that was cute. All right, so what is up next? I, oh yes, so this beautiful candle I got it's gorgeous. Look at that. So I needed a uh, candle holder. So I just got a plain glass candle holder. I needed something to really hold this big boy uh, in. It's gorgeous. It has this like beautiful amethyst in the candle. It's hand rolled uh, beeswax candle and it smells delicious. I love it. So I actually, I can't believe I found them. They rarely have them. I must have gotten in early for spring. They had all this cute little fairy stuff. So this is beautiful. Look at look at that. Look how gorgeous and detailed it is. So nice. And they're really nice and very well made. Very detailed. Uh, it says welcome on it. And this guy right here. Sorry, my camera is not focusing yet again. Um, yeah, but it's real nice, nice and heavy too. Very so. I'm gonna the way I'm gonna be using them is I'm gonna put them in like my flowers and my garden, my little uh, fire escape garden, and my areas in my house. But look, that's my favorite one. This is my favorite one. Look how beautiful this is. So pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna be using them in like literally making a garden, a fairy garden. And I found these little guys little fairies they kind of look more like gnomes honestly but they're very very cute adorable yellow green and pink little fairies so pretty so I'll just be placing them 
in the middle of my flowers when they start growing again. And I had to get this one. This is a cauldron. So awesome. I love that. I love that. The cauldron with the fire. And we have this one. It's a little welcome sign with some flowers. A little, I don't know what that is, but it's like a tree or a big flower. And yes, some more flowers. Very, very cute. So just a little whole bunch of fairy stuff, which I'm really, really excited about. I never find them. They are never around, so I'm really happy about those. And they're gorgeous. All right, let's move them to the side. Okay. All right, up next. I found this. I never seen these before. I seen the one on the bottom, but I never seen this one before. This is very, very cute. It says love on it, obviously. It's wooden. Um, you could probably put like some maybe dried flowers in there uh, with that florist foam. Or I could put mail or something like some decorative thing in there. But I saw that I. I just caught that I think I got this one before this beautiful rose love wooden piece um, I may pour on it or I may do something different who knows but I really I picked those two up to do future projects with thought that was cute for Valentine's Day which is coming up fairly soon and here is some sand and I already used this one a little bit here's some red sand and I'll show you how I'm using this in a second. So I'm, I love this color blue. It's like my favorite color blue. And then I got a bag of white. And I've been looking for this forever. They have not had it in my Dollar Tree. And finally they got it. So I got three. So this is actually my first cauldron I ever got. This is a real cauldron. Uh, cast iron. Um, and so what you do is you put it on the bottom there um, and then you put a charcoal disc on top this is like I put the sand in there to, uh, and put the charcoal disc on top of it it's like really for fire safety and the sand like absorbs the heat because you know when you're using candles or you're lighting um, these charcoal discs for incense or herbs you really really want to be careful with fire and fabric and stuff like that that's like the most important thing and this is a little picture stand. I was actually going to use it for like to hold my tarot card of the day or something. But it's a little too big for that. So I think I could actually use this for my altar art or for any art as a stand. Um, yeah, because that's what it's for. So it's perfect. And I actually really like this one. It has this kind of rope design. Very lightweight, but it's still pretty sturdy. It's silver. I really like it. Very, very nice. So, that's what I got for that. All right. So, up next. Oh, yes. This I'm really excited about. So, I don't have a Cricut. Uh, I have not seen these there before. I saw these two colors, and I had to get them. So, this is a little gift for Gina. For Gina Loves to Craft. So, Gina, hi. I'm sh hopefully, you'll be seeing this video. This is for you. Sorry, I spoiled the surprise, but I'm going to be sending you some other stuff too. So, I'm glad I found that. So, I that's like new to my Dollar Tree. Um, and then they didn't have any stickers, guys. They haven't had like new stickers for a while, but I did like these. So, I just got two of them. I love the keys and the clocks, you know, me with the vintage kind of feel to it. So, um,. I just got two of these and that was really it because the stickers they didn't have much they had the same stuff over and over and over again nothing new okie dokie next up okay we got some wax melts and I love these these are really great um, they last a very long time I have tons of them so I got um, two more only because I have a lot but I, I love the way they smell they're really really well made so this is an adorable, if my camera would focus, I got this in a uh, witchy box. This is, excuse me, my old um, tea light. But anyway, this is 
you can use this for oils um, or you can use it for wax melts. So I'm using that one for wax melts. It's a cute little ceramic cauldron and the, I think the name it says Lumen. So these smell great. They're like a dollar, dollar twenty-five each. They are awesome. All right. Up next, these are like trivets. Um, I'm using them kind of like more like altar tiles. So basically, the way you would use them is again for fire safety to absorb any heat. You put your cauldron on top of the tile, and that even though the cauldron has the little legs on them. Uh, these are really adorable. I have another one that has like more herbs or plants uh, on my altar right now, but I like to switch things up. So it's it's for fire safety. Is it to protect like any heat or fire on fabric or your table? All right, so I got some more paint, some more Crology paint. I got this pretty purple color and the turquoise. So I got the blue and the purple. I love this paint again and then this I, I love this color I don't know if it's gonna work for pouring or if it's gonna be good at all so I only got one and that was the only color I like this kind of shimmery green color so I figure you know what I'll try it out in a pour maybe maybe it'll be great maybe it'll be crap who knows I don't know um, and I got some matte Mod Podge um, I have quite a few of the glossy ones, but I want to pick up a couple of the matte ones So when I do like journaling or something if I want to glue something on I want it to be more matte in my journal and not glossy All right, some next stuff. I just got some glue sticks. I can't believe I ran out of I had like so many bags so I needed some more and I got what they had and then I picked up some natural uh, jute cord, a really nice big uh, ball of twine. You can't have enough twine. I really like this, so that was nice. And then I got some lacy ribbon in that beautiful like off-white color. I have no idea what I'm gonna use this for, but when I see stuff like that, I grab it because you never know um, well, you just need a ribbon for something. I don't know, but here we go The next stuff so I have never ever seen this in my Dollar Tree. I know other people have hauled this um, It is a craft spatula and I'm really excited. I actually got some new stuff not any new stickers um, But and they had a craft scraper. So this is great for my Nuvo, like the paste and stuff for stenciling. Uh, that's what I got that for. And then I got some sponges for the Mod Podge. And I got, I like this size. The big ones I don't really use. And there's six pieces in there. And yeah, I need some, uh, I like the smaller size better. The big ones, I really don't use them. So I just got a package of those. All right, let's move that to the side. And oh, I found this and I fell in love with it. This is a huge, um, or I'm using it as a candle holder. And I got two of them. Uh, that's how I'm using it because I have these bigger candles. I just want to be safe with them so all, like the candle wax can drip inside of it. This is gorgeous. I cannot believe this is only $1.25. It has that beautiful light green um, and that texture on it is beautiful and then the juke cord around it and you can hang it I guess like a lantern but I'm using it as because uh, I'm using a candle and I'm not hanging it anywhere so I got two of those and then I found this beautiful tissue paper I've been finding all these beautiful like herby plant um, themed things which is beautiful I just fell in love with this tissue paper I figured I either, I can actually use it um, in like in a journal, my grimoire, or some project, and of course I could actually use it to wrap something with, of course. But I just really fell in love with it, and they only had one, so I picked it up, and I just got a mini little notebook. Um, I just for the new year, I wrote a quote unquote script for my uh, new trailer. I'm thinking about just like kind of what I wanted to say. 
so I always get like new um, little notebooks to write notes in. That's it. And I believe this is the last item, guys. I got quite a few fake um, flowers. This is wisteria, and these beautiful—they're actually really nice. Uh, I got this beautiful lavender. Uh, sorry noise outside my window and these wisteria are giving me a problem all right so I got this beautiful pink color and I got some yellow so it's really really beautiful I'm really happy I found them they're really quite nice so that is what I got today guys I hope you enjoyed what I got. I'm really happy with everything I found. I got some different stuff than I usually use, but my channel has kind of switched up a little bit, so I'm thinking in a different way of different projects I can make for you guys. Something different, something fun, something lighthearted and exciting. So I hope that you enjoyed everything, and I really appreciate you watching today, guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day, and I love you. Valentine's Day is coming up soon enough. All right, guys, so don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!